Hello friends, welcome to AIKID Support channel and in this channel today we are talking about CPAN. Yes, probably you will uh, have a question in your mind that how I should use a CPANEL and which plan I should purchase. So I was wondering, I have checked few plans and today I want to share you a beautiful plan for you which is a single plan which you can go for that is an unlimited plan. So that means you are going to get unlimited domain, unlimited disk space, unlimited bandwidth, unlimited number of emails and unlimited subdomains, unlimited applications and these are only one single plan which is unlimited cPanel business plan. Okay. So what I will do in this channel is I will create videos just for you. If you have any questions in your mind about hosting, just shoot out in the comments and I will be setting up a video and help you out how to do that. Okay. So let's jump in and let's jump into this video. Um, this will be a walkthrough on cPanel. Okay. So if we, uh, you can see this is our domain which is secure, which, which is the plan I have purchased. That is an unlimited plan and that also have a free SSL in it. So wh how, it is, how it is a free SSL? Uh, they have a feature on which we can um, enable SSL for free that has auto SSL feature. Okay, that is within the plan. What you need to do is you need to purchase that particular plan and you can jump in and you can uh, go ahead and set up all the things. So the first thing is I will give you a walkthrough about the CPAN. So how you should log into the CPAN. Uh, in the old days what happened is we, we need to go to our emails and look for the link. But here what you need to do is simply just go to your domain and type cPanel here. Okay. So what you will do is type cPanel here and hit enter. So automatically it will redirect to a section on which you can log into your cPanel. That is very handy. You don't need to uh, look for the URL. You don't need to really uh, go for any um, fancy stuff. It's very simple. Just hit your domain then slash cPanel. And then you will get a user ID and password. I will put my user ID and password and I will let you know all the things. Okay. So let's jump into the video and I will let you know each and everything. What do you want to know about cPanel? Okay, so now you can see I've already logged into the cPanel and this is a new cPanel version and I will walk through each and every step and I will let you know what are the sections, how they are divided. But before we jump into this, I would like to really share an offer which is going on for hosting. If you like it, if you want a hosting and which is cheap and best, that is it. You can go for that. Okay, so I'm just showing up the link where you need to go. The links are there in the description if you want, but still I'm just showing you. I will take a few seconds here. So if you go to this website which says aikshop.com, okay, and you can see they are offering cPanel hosting, which is an unlimited business hosting. So what we are getting in this, so what you need to do is you just need to click here, okay. So it says it's $36, so that means it is a one-year plan, okay. In $36, you are getting unlimited domains, unlimited disk space, unlimited transfer, and most of the things are unlimited. And there is one catch as well. You are getting a cPanel along with it, a new version of PHP, but the attractive version is free SSL. Okay, free SSL service is inbuilt with this latest cPanel, and which is very handy because nowadays when you create a blog, are you working with a WordPress website, Joomla website, or anything else? Okay, so so what happens is uh, you require the site to be in secure shell, and when you try to index them in Google, that is also uh, giving you an extra edge to rank your website because nowadays Google always look for websites which are secure okay so if you go to any of the website which are not secure so how you feel is the first thing is you will see a lock which is secure and if any domain is not being secure then you will uh, see there would be a statement written like not secure okay so that is that is a, not a good statement for the viewers who are trying to access your website so probably they will also think okay this website is not secure they will jump out of your website so having a secure uh, SSL which is going to give you a extra edge on ranking and Google will also help you to rank in your in your, with your website okay so let's jump into our uh, topic today that is cPanel so I will be go through each and every step which are there in the cPanel okay so um, if you talk about uh, transferring the files when you when you um, build up want to build up your website the first thing is you will interact with the files okay 
So in the files, there are a few options which you can use. Like you can use FTP. For the FTP, we have a FTP client. Uh, you can see here, you can uh, go to this FTP account and you can create your own account here. Okay. But the first thing is, if you are using a cPanel, then what I believe is the most interesting thing is use their file manager. So if you go to the file manager, they will uh, list up uh, the section on which you can upload. So what you need to do is you need to just go to this public underscore HTML and you can upload your website. So I'm using a WordPress website. So I've uploaded all the files. I've migrated the website from a different uh, host. So in case you need a migration assistance, there is a link below so you can get the assistance uh, on your migration as well. So uh, you can see I've already uh, migrated my website and uploaded the files. You can see you from here, you can click the upload and upload your files. And once those things are done, then your website will be running and uh, working. Okay. So as we are working with uh, WordPress websites, they also require a database. So in if you want to manage database, then you will go for this database section in which you can see there is a MySQL database. If you go here, you can create your own databases here. Okay. So if you go to this MySQL databases, there you will see your option to create your own databases. So once you create a, web, uh, a database here, then what you can do is um, you need to create a user and also there is, a, there is a different tab on which you can use. You can create a user and assign appropriate permission so that that user can access the database. So ideally what happens is the people are not much techy. So no problem with that. So there are the features on which what you can do is if you go down, don't worry about there are n number of scripts which are available. You can hit a click here and you will install within few seconds. So like you want to install WordPress, you want to install Joomla or any other uh, free um, uh, softwares, open source softwares which are available. You, can, you want to build your forum, you want to install Magento for e-commerce. So n number of opportunities are there. OpenCard is also a very good platform for e-commerce. So both most of the most of the websites nowadays build up in uh, WordPress. Okay, so that what we know is we can use this particular app installer. It's one-click app installer, and it will install the apps. Okay, so once you install the app, I've used this particular um, button and I've installed it. And after the installation, you will see there is a WordPress manager. That means I have used this uh, option app installer and I have installed WordPress. And now there is a WordPress manager. If I want to change anything, I can use this option and change it. Okay. So I will be creating separate video of each and every section and I will let you know how to do it. But right now it's a walkthrough video of cPanel. Okay. So if you want to create databases from here, you can do. If you want to manage the database, like you want to create new tables, you want to edit tables, then you need to go to this PHP My Admin. If you click it, it will take you to a, a different uh, tab and you can um, use it. Okay. So I will show this in case uh, you will do a migration. Let's say we want to do a WordPress uh, website migration. So I will let you know how to do it in the next video. Okay. So uh, these are the few uh, new tool, uh, marketing tool, which are free of cost, which you can go for. They are giving it. So uh, I really like it. Some of them like leg bending and increasing web traffic tools. So you can use it. You can test it out um, these tools. Okay. So next important part is uh, you are getting unlimited uh, domain facility. Okay. So in case you want to add new domain, what you need to do is um, you need to click here, add domain. Okay. And here you need to put your new domain name and hit add and that's it. Your domain will be added. But here is a catch. Before you add a domain, uh, what they want is they want the domain um, your domain name is it a new domain or an old domain that should be pointed to their uh, name servers okay so once it, they are added to the name servers you will uh, add your domain and upload your files and you will make make your website live okay so in case you face any issue they have a very good good support system you can go to their support system and they will help you out to build uh, and uh, assist you further to make your website live okay so one more important point is uh, when uh, there, there could be a possibility that you are using a domain and you want to use subdomains. Okay, so subdomains are very handy as well in case you are running a one website and you want to create a separate identity along with that particular company. Let's say I'm running a AIGID support uh, dot com. In that, I, if I want to run a forum, then what I will do is I will hit uh, I will create a subdomain called forum dot AIGID support dot com. So that will be a separate application. Let's say I will go with a different forum application like Simple Machine or anything like that. Simple Machine is one of the uh, really good tool from which you can build your forum. 
So if you click that, that is a separate install, separate application. They are not being um, uh, mingled with uh, WordPress. So um, I can use that. So subdomain is really helpful in that cases. Okay. If you want to manage the DNS servers, so you can change in case of uh, there can be a possibility you have a different uh, external uh, emails. Okay. So in that case, you need to create some uh, DNS entries. So those entries you can set up. For example, I have my own email addresses uh, set up in Google. Okay. So they are Google premium accounts. So what I do is I, I already updated the Google DNS server settings and so that my email can route there. Okay. So you can create unlimited number of emails if you are hosting in this particular uh, website. Uh, in, in the they are providing unlimited emails, so you can go for it. You can create your emails from there, okay? And um, there is a webmail access as well, so you can use the webmail uh, link as well. Okay? If you want to forward any email, that is also possible. Create an email address and then uh, forward it to a Gmail or a Yahoo or a Microsoft ID. That is also possible. And you can also track the deliveries in case there are some emails which are failing. You can also track them. That is a very, this is a very good um, handy tool in case you are setting up for the first time and you want to test your email is working or not. So in case the emails are landing here or not, so the track del delivery will let you know. So if I go to this track delivery, so you will you will find what are the um, um, recent transactions have been happened so you can already see in case there is a failure it will show up if there is a failure and what time it was you can really identify because I, initially when i was setting up so i was facing some issues so after that if there is any failure it will be listed here so that is very good um, uh, in cpanel okay so cpanel is having very good tools which which you can really uh, check the visitors bandwidth and uh, you can analyze the CPU, even the Google ranking tab is also there. So there are some metrics on which you can, these tools you can use, okay. So there are some security sort of things. That, so I was telling you that I will create a separate video to let you know how you can install SSL certificate. That's absolutely free, but still I just want to show you in this video because uh, it's, it's a quick snap. You can, you, you, you just require a few things here. So what you need to do is you need to go to this SSL TSL status, okay. If you go here, there will be an option. It will be listed um, all of the domains here. Okay, well, what are the domains here? So here you can select that particular domain and hit Run Auto SSL. So what it will do is you can see a green lock here. So it is creating and enabling the SSL. And it's, it is it is a, a single button. What you need to click. That's it. Nothing else. So it will automatically make and it will take few minutes and enable your SSL. That's it. Okay, so if you are using a WordPress website, you need to do a little bit a small editing. So I will let you know that as well in different videos. But whatever the questions you have, just shoot it in the comments. I will happy to answer them and create a video right away whenever I, I got time. Okay, so uh, we have gone through the security settings. Now you can see these are a few softwares which are available which you can use. I use Cloudflare as well, so I will create a separate video on this. Cloudflare is a very good. Uh, option to get a free CDN. So if you talk about what a CDN in case you want to get a better performance of your website You should have a CDN caching. So Cloudflare right now offering some free services to get free SSL along with free CDN So if you want to use that that is also very good which you can go for Okay, so this is some advanced tools like tracking DNS and uh, Apache handler cron jobs so these are the few things even you can scan the virus as well in case your website is having some virus okay so there are some preference settings which you can use like contact password security if you want to change those things and even do some user management those are also possible and in this is the last option which you can see like app installer so it has huge number of apps which you can go for if you if i scroll here you can see the apps are running 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 and there are so many other apps you can go for and all of them Interestingly, all of them are absolutely free to use. Okay, you can also go for a particular section. Let's say you want to build a wiki, you want to create a, your own social network. That is also possible. Just click here. Okay, click here, and it will list all the possibility free softwares which are available which we can use. And even you can go to the demo as well how they look, how they run. Okay, what are their uh, current requirements? That is also you can get. What are the rating you will get? So all those things are very well organized, and this is one of the Elec is one of the very good tool on which you can build a social networking website, like absolutely like Facebook. You, they have a very good theme, and they have a good community which you can use as well. 
So in case you want to do blogging, if you click here, you can see n number of uh, options are there. WordPress is prime one of the services which are being used for building a blog. Okay. So this is a quick intro on cPanel. If you have any questions, just shoot out in the comment section. And if you like it, hit the like button. Do subscribe because I'm going to create lots of videos just on cPanel so that you can understand how the cPanel works. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments. I will create the next video on that particular question and it will be a visual and I will help you. I will try to assist you as better I can. Okay. Thank you very much for watching this. This is Joy Banerjee signing off from Ask Joy B AI KIT support.